I actually do have enough. Oh, you know, I have a loving family. Oh, I have a really good job. Oh, I have actually good health. Oh, I have financial security. Oh, I have a car or... Hey there, my handsome men for Little Cobras and welcome back to The Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra and I make minimalism videos. So this minimalism video is also going to be a little chit chat, not as many tips, but it is minimalism and consumerism, a different look of the same issue, insecurity. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it. Let's go. Woo. A little bit of housekeeping before we get started. I've been looking at my analytics. Seems like 77% of you are not subscribed. <gasps> so all that I ask is that you subscribe. I'm not even asking for a like for the algorithm or that you subscribe to my Patreon. That honestly, all that I'm trying to do right now is I'm just trying to get monetized. I'm real close. I just want to make a little bit of coin. If you want to hit that subscription button for more minimalism content, I would love it. I'm just going to be here all day ranting minimalism stuff. So if you want to come along, hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's get into talking about consumerism and minimalism, talking about an insecurity. So I actually had this idea the other day when I was thinking about like some of the more messed up things that I've done in my minimalism journey. And one of them was this idea that I started to think that consumerism, like in the extreme ends, like hyper consumerism and extreme minimalism, they're addressing the same issue, which is insecurity. So hear me out. How did I get to this idea? When I was really insecure, I tried to compensate my life feeling afraid that I didn't have enough by hyper consuming. So buy as much as you can, watch all of the hauls. And on the flip side, when I became an extreme minimalist, when I was just decluttering everything, living out of a suitcase, not buying anything, whipping myself on the back, it was also stemming from fear and insecurity. I was afraid that like if I spent my money on stuff, it was going to take away from my financial security i felt like i can't have stuff it's holding me back like i'm gonna slip back into who i used to be if i buy things because minimalism is my new lifeboat the thing that's gonna keep me afloat in this consumer society that's just trying to squeeze every penny out of me so that's actually the thing that i wanted to talk about was at the core of it was this idea and it's actually just a mental state of insecurity i mean yes there's also the practical level of insecurity like if you don't really have enough to eat and you're and you're worried about where you're living and sheltered like that yes those are definitely valid points but i'm just going to be strictly speaking from a level or a mental level of insecurity like that fear that we carry in us whether it may or may not be particularly valid and to be fair though a lot of my insecurities i do feel were valid i really did have to think about like how am i going to pay my bills how am i going to put food on the table like how am i going to pay my loans like my student loans so yeah i really wasn't in any position to be going out and buying material possessions but to be fair i could have had a little bit more wiggle room and i could have breathe a little bit better but we're going to be talking about the insecurity so at the core of it from both sides of the coin and i'm also going to be talking about like what to do about it that fear that like there's just not enough when there's that fear that there's not enough we overcompensate by spending our hard earned money to buy material things to fulfill that need inside of us and i don't think that is a really healthy way to live but on the flip side when i was obsessed with fire and financial independence i didn't want to buy anything because i was like if i buy that that's going to take away from my financial security and that was also i was also in a state of lack like if i spend my money who's going to take care of me who's going to pay the bills and i mean to be fair that is pretty valid that is being responsible but i was coming from a place of fear and a, and a place of insecurity and i kept trying to band-aid the mental problems with physical actions whether it be hyper consumption or declutter 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 don't buy don't buy don't buy invest 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 so what is the solution that i, I came to i kind of came to the idea that or at least for myself i had to plug in that insecurity with a mental change a mental shift and i had to kind of come from a place of abundance and a place of practicality and a place of intention and i think this is something that a lot of people talk about in minimalism that minimalism isn't you can't buy this you can't buy that but actually becoming intentional and it's not about obsessing about having less but being intentional and that was kind of the key thing that helped me a lot with kind of finding like a more healthy medium with consuming a little but not being so extreme with my minimalism was realizing that there's an abundance in everything there's a lot of stuff so i don't need to be hoarding and buying a lot of things and there's also realizing on the flip side that i already have an abundance of things i don't need to be punishing my stuff and chucking and being really stoic and i can't buy this and i can't buy that it's realizing at least for myself it was realizing that there is an abundance that, those are the two key things that helped me a lot was realizing that there's an abundance in life in all aspects whether it be money a product or like material possessions people just abundance in my life and the other one was if there's an abundance i should be picky and choosy so i'm going to be intentional with how i purchase things and that definitely helped a lot what are the, some of the things that i became intentional about i became intentional about 
putting money first towards paying myself first and being good with my money and having like a healthy financial state i also became intentional about the things that do bring me joy i'm allowed to have them i'm allowed to buy those things and also that allowed me to become a lot more confident and intentional about the things that i did declutter now i declutter things that i don't want i don't need are broken or have passed their point of like servitude or of serving me and knowing that there's an abundance in my life there's an abundance of material things there's an abundance of wealth there's an abundance in my interactions with others there will always be opportunities for more money i used to think of money as something that like i have to go out and earn like money doesn't come to me i have to go out and get money and since it's so hard to make a penny why am i gonna waste my money on material possessions or thinking you know what like I worked so hard for this money, I deserve to buy this and I deserve to buy that and I just would get myself into into some pretty bad financial states of being where I had a lot of material crap and uh, no money in the bank. So I think this idea of abundance that that's something that a lot of companies use against you is this idea that it's limited edition. Buy now while supplies still last. And I used to buy into that. I was a sucker. I, I just lived with a scarcity mentality. Like I just felt like there was never enough. Everyone had a lot, but I didn't have enough. Minimalism really did help address my insecurity in terms of like there just wasn't enough. With minimalism, I now feel like I have an abundance of money because I'm not buying a bunch of crap. And since I have an abundance of money, I feel like the few things that I do want, I can have. So I no longer have a scarcity mentality. It just kind of became like a positive feedback loop because i addressed the underlying issue of like fear and insecurity that there just wasn't enough feeling like there wasn't enough was just driving me insane and if you're wondering so how do i get to a place where i feel like things are enough like how do i get out of this idea of insecurity and that's actually done with gratitude gratitude is the thing that's going to set you free gratitude for what you already have is going to focus your attention on oh I actually do have enough oh you know i have a loving family oh i have a really good job oh i have actually good health oh i have financial security oh i have a car or whatever it may be in your life that you feel like those are the things that you're grateful for the more gratitude you practice the more abundance you'll feel in your life and the more you generate this i really am a firm believer in the law of manifestation i know a lot of people think it's, it's a load of bullshit, but i think it's in vain or in line with faith and belief in a higher power in the lord in the law of manifestation what have you the universe i really do believe that those things come about because and this is a buddhistic principle your thoughts become your reality so gratitude is just going to generate more wonderful things in your life that you're going to feel more gratitude for and when you do that your minimalism journey is going to be a lot smoother and when you have a more smooth minimalism journey things that you buy in your consumption and your consumerism will also be a lot more smoother because there's intentionality and gratitude behind it you start to become really grateful for the things you can afford to buy or the things that are available to you to buy because honestly we live in a western society where we are very privileged to be able to buy in such consumeristic ways it's a privilege capitalism is a privilege we didn't always people humanity hasn't always lived this way so we should be grateful for it and we really shouldn't be demonizing it but we need to be intentional and purposeful with how we do these things Okay, so that is my little minimalism consumerism rant. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That's all that I ask. Please, just subscribe! Subscribe! Let's not be minimalist with my subscription list. Like, let's make it real fat, full of cobras. I would love that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!